Welcome everyone to Weekend Escapades. Today we are at the Red Cliffs Archaeological Site. Uh, we have been here many times mountain biking and uh, when you're mountain biking you kind of miss some of the things uh, that are alongside the trail. So this trail that we see uh, you can't bike on. You have to hike on it. So we've passed it up many times. Uh, but on the trail uh, as we mountain bike down the creek we notice these large squash uh, that were growing alongside the trail. We always wondered why or who planted these squash. And then we found out that it was all part of a crop from the Anastasi Puebloan farmers between 500 AD and 1200 AD after doing some research. So we followed these little trails uh, on foot, of course, without the bikes. And what we found at the top of the hill was uh, actually very interesting. Uh, so we thought we'd share this with you and show you what's kind of going on right here at the trail. And right up here on the hill where I'm pointing with my blurry finger uh, is where we had to hike. And this is why we missed it. You can't see it from the trailhead we were on uh, until you walk to the top of that hill right there. So once we reach the top of the hill, uh, there is a site that is well marked. This was the home of the Anasazi Puebloan people. And they say at this site, usually one to two family will live in the pit house. Uh, and then there's a lot of storage rooms and so forth for the food and the things that they grow. This would be the squash that we found alongside the trail. So this was what we were looking at and saying, that, why is it planted here? And sure enough, uh, they grew maize here as well. Uh, the corn and some of that still exists in the area. So take a look at this site of the homes and the storage area. Uh, this is a pit house and storage rooms for everything that they grew and harvested. some pictures of petroglyphs. Uh, the petroglyphs, of course, were carved into the stone and they made their uh, pictures of their lifestyle. So this is how they lived, what they did, what they hunted. And I found this extremely interesting. We really had to stop and, and take a look at this. And, and when you think about it, uh, we visit a lot of ghost towns and, and old areas that have the foundations from homes in the 1800s, early 1800s uh, to you know the, the early 1900s. But this from 500 AD and 1200 AD, um, how we can even find out that it existed that long ago, this is the foundation. Uh, and it, it'd be considered just like a ghost town because these people uh, left these foundations and left the area because of droughts and other reasons, just like you know early ghost towns. out and about looking at locations we know now to look around every corner because you never know what you're going to find until our next adventure goodbye from weekend escapades